Hi guys, this is Karthik. Welcome to the fourth video for the series on dynamic programming. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and also share with your friends if you find this content helpful. Okay, so let's get started. Please pause the video and read the problem statement on your own. I'll explain it in my words. So the problem says that you're given with n books, b1, b2, so on till bn, right? Each book has some cost c1 and some number of pages in the book that is p1. So the number of pages in book one is p1 and the price you have to pay or the cost for the book is c1. So each book has a cost and a price, oh, cost and some number of pages. What you would like to do is you would like to buy some of these books so that you don't uh, pay more than x rupees or x dollars you would like to pay less than x units of currency to buy some of the books from these n books and you would like to buy the books in such a way so that the number of pages that you get overall is maximized i don't know why you want to maximize the number of pages but that is what the problem is asking so we want to buy the number of books so that the number of pages is maximized and I guess the problem is asking this because then the problem is very much like knapsack problem. Anyway, if you don't know the knapsack problem, I will be explaining this one well enough so that you will be also able to solve the knapsack on your own. Okay, so let's get started. I will explain the sample input here. So you don't want to spend more than 10 rupees or $10. You have the books and the cost of each of the book is given as 4, 8, 5 and 3. These are the costs. And the number of pages in the books are 5, 12, 8 and 1. Okay. So you do not want to spend more than 10 rupees. Otherwise you would have bought all the books if you had a lot of money, but you don't have that. So in this particular example, what you can do is you could buy, you can buy this book and this book, then the total price cost you will be paying or the price you will be paying is 9 which is less than 10 so it's good and the number of pages you get is 5 plus 8 so 13 and your output there, is, there exists no other way in which you could buy books so that your cost uh, or the overall cost is less than 10 less than equal to 10 but you get more pages and therefore your output is 13 now before we move forward i would like you guys to think of a brute force solution and then we will optimize that so a brute force solution can be uh, thought of by thinking about the fact that we are going to buy a subset of the n books, right? So the books that I buy in the best way is going to be a subset of the n books given to me. So what I can do is I can try out all the possible subsets of n books. The number of subsets are 2 to the power n, right? For n items, there are 2 to the power n subsets. I can try out all the 2 to the power n subsets. I can check what are the number of pages that I'm getting and if the cost of the books in this particular subset is less than x, less than equal to x, then this is this might be the best way, okay. So among all the valid ways, I, valid subsets, I will choose the subset which gives me the maximum number of pages. This is going to be nearly big O of 2 to the power n if you impl implement it well enough, okay. But n is up to 1000, so this is obviously not good enough. Now let's build upon the brute force solution to reach a more efficient DP solution. So you have these books B1, B2, B3, so on till Bn. You want to spend less than equal to X rupees so that you get the maximum number of pages possible. Now in the subset Okay, so let's say, let's represent it something like this. You have these n books, the first n books, and you have the money x rupees. Okay, this is the money in hand. In the best possible way, either, uh, or the in the best possible subset in which the number of pages is maximized, either the nth book is bought or it is not bought. There are just two options. So let's consider both of them. So either you do not buy the nth book or you do buy the nth book. So consider that you do not buy the nth book. Okay, if you don't buy the nth book, then you ha have the options of buying from the books B1 till Bn minus one. So you have n minus one books left. And since you haven't bought the nth book, you have not spent any money, right? 
so you still have x amount of currency but what happens if you do buy the nth book right these are the two possibilities of the best subset so if you do buy the nth book then you would uh, still have all the book uh, you will have the option of buying from the first n minus one books but since you have bought the nth book one thing that happened is that you got pg pn number of pages added in this subset you already have pn number of pages this is a good thing because you got some number of pages but the disadvantage of buying the nth book is that you will lose some of the money also so the money you lose is the cost of the nth book that is cn now here you would like to try um, buy as many number of pages from the first n minus 1 books given this much money so that the number of pages is maximized same way in this particular case also you would like to maximize the number of pages that you can buy using x amount of money from the first n minus 1 books again you will keep doing this kind of recursion and with this intuition i will define dp state and recurrence you can pause the video and try to define the dp state on your own so i'll be defining it as dp of i then uh, i am having the first i books to buy from so for b1 b2 so until bi and dp of i comma x i have x amount of money in hand and dp of i comma x will be defined as the maximum number of pages i can buy maximum number of pages that i can buy i can buy sorry about the handwriting from first i books using x money so this is all right dp of i comma x the maximum number of pages i could buy from the first i books using x amount of money with this definition what is going to be my uh, final answer my final answer i wanted to evaluate what is the maximum number of pages i can buy given n books and capital x amount of money so my final answer is nothing but dp of n comma capital x now let's think about the recurrence here for the ith book we we'll discussed that we had two options either you buy it or you do not buy it and let's consider the first possibility i don't buy the ith book this means i have i am left with the first i minus one books and still the same money from that i would like to buy the maximum number of pages so doing uh, buying the maximum number of pages so the maximum number of pages will be equal to dp of i minus 1 comma x in the other case we uh, that we considered was that i will buy the ith book buying the ith book gives me pi number of pages already because the ith book had this number of pages and now i would like to buy the maximum number of pages that i can from the first i minus 1 books given the money in hand x minus the cost of the ith book so dp of i minus 1 comma x minus ci x minus ci because i just spent ci money on buying the ith book among these two possibilities i would like to choose the one in which i get more number of pages in hand so maximum out of these two options of course uh, these options i will also have to consider whether these options are possible or not so if i am thinking about buying a book i must have at least p uh, uh, at least the CI amount of money right otherwise I cannot really buy this book and this is it these are your recurrences your answer and the definition for DP I will discuss the base case while implementing and the time time and space complexity here will be n times x this will be proportional to 10 power 8 operations and that will be doable okay so let's move towards the coding part Uh, I've already taken the input, the prices and the pages of the books. It would have been better if I could have defined a structure, but it's all right. So I'll define my DP as DP of n plus one comma x plus one, the money I have. My final answer is going to be DP at n x. Okay. I have n number of books from B1 till Bn and I have x number of x amount of money. What is the maximum pages I can buy? now i will think about uh, when i have i number of books so i have one book and so until i have n books and 
given uh, that I have I books and X money in hand X goes from money in hand he goes from 0 till money equal less than equal to X okay so I will think about what what is the maximum number of pages I can buy given I books and money uh, and this particular amount of money okay so first of all if I have no money if I have no money then DP of I comma money no matter how many books I have I cannot buy anything right I guess the minimum priced book is the minimum price of any book is at least one right so if I do not have my any money left I cannot buy any book otherwise I have two options either I buy the ith book or I do not if I do buy the ith book uh, if I do not buy the ith book I will be left with the first i minus one books and the same money whereas if I don't buy the ith book if I do buy the ith book I will get the number of pages equal to pages of the ith book plus I will be left with the first i minus one books and the money equal to money minus the cost of the ith book or the price of the ith book among these two options I would choose the one which gives me more pages in hand so dp of i comma money will be the maximum of these two options so that's it but again uh, I need to consider that first thing here is that I cannot buy a book uh, if I do not have enough money so if money in hand is less than the price of the book then I cannot buy it so let's say that the pages you get a zero in this since this option is not possible at all let's just say zero okay and in this particular case if I have only one book and I say that I don't want to buy this book then this means I'm not getting any pages at all okay so that's it and this should give me the correct answer I'll try a sample input okay this is okay this is close enough let me see what's the error so we had this thing money and money equals to zero dp and okay So there has to be some silly initialization mistake I guess you have this vector you take the inputs that's all right till here if money equals to zero then I cannot buy any book that's also right if I have some money then I have these two options and that's cool if money is less than the price of the ith book Then zero otherwise this thing is it possible that some of my values were not properly initialized maybe all right so what I'm guessing here is that the problem is that when I have just one book I buy the book I get the pages at one but then I think about uh, what if I have zero books left and this amount of money so I'll just add one more base case here if you do not have any book if you don't have any book then you cannot buy anything right so the pages you get is again zero and now I will try it yeah now we're getting the correct answer and this was because of this uninitialized DP table DP zero wasn't initialized here I will try to submit Yeah, we got the correct answer so if you found this helpful please hit the like button and also share with your friends thanks for watching